Alright, welcome back, welcome back to another episode of Cooking for the Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous with me, your host Robin Leach. Alright ladies and gents, today we have a treat for you. A very lovely treat actually. We're going to our culinary, culinary adventure actually, excuse me, begins in the Caribbean islands today. That's right. So what we're going to do is we're going to cook a red snapper and it's done almost in every island in the Caribbean so you could take your pick. And I'm going to put my personal spin on it. So what it is, is really it's a red snapper wrapped in a plantain leaf with some seasonings and herbs and whatnot. And we're going to show you exactly what we're going to put in it right now. So let's take a look at these lovely red snappers that we have here. Take a look, see here. Right. So what we have here is a marinade of, a simple marinade of just cilantro, fresh cilantro. That actually we've gotten from our garden over here. A little lovely garden, as you see, we have some cilantro here. Thyme is coming in. Rosemary is not coming in just yet. Rosemary is a bit stubborn, I heard, from his brother Oregano. Right, I guess some of y'all don't get that joke. We'll tell you later. All right, now, so it's just minced garlic, right? Uh, don't want to add the salt and pepper just yet until we actually start to cook it. Minced garlic and chopped cilantro, fresh cilantro. That's about it. And also, I'm sorry. We've got the sliced limes in there. I like to put limes instead of lemons. People ask why? Because I feel like it. <laughs> All right. Now, what we have here is our accoutrement, right, of what we're going to put with the fish, the red snapper, as we wrap it in the plantain leaf. Now, what we have here is julienne onions, white onions. We have julienne red bell pepper, right? We have diced mango, ripe mango. We have some diced fire roasted jalapeno peppers which I've roasted simply just roasted over the fire on your stove top which you can just simply right on your stove top put it right on the fire add a little bit of oil to the jalapeno roast it right on the fire uh, I just diced them de-seeded them right and then we have some minced garlic so we're gonna add all that in with the red snapper once I'll show you how to wrap how we're gonna wrap it in the plantain leaf we're also going to add some fresh sprigs of cilantro from our lovely garden here, right? And also a little bit of mango juice, and I'll show you exactly what we're going to do. Right, so stay tuned, ladies and gents. You know, as always, keep cooking, keep stirring, keep putting these in the air, and we'll come right back and show you the finished product. Right, of the Red Snapper, Caribbean style. All right. Signing out, Robin Leach for cooking for the lifestyles of the rich and famous. See you in a bit, mates. Cheers. Need a refill over here, mate. Yeah, I'm empty. Fuck, I what's this? Oh, welcome back. Welcome back to cooking for the lifestyles of rich and famous with me, your host, Robin Leach. Now, we're what we're doing now is I'm gonna take a look, see here. Uh, we're just sauteing some onions, right? And we're going to start to add the rest of our accoutrement. If you remember what, what it was, it's the uh, bell pepper, julienne bell pepper, right? Mangoes, which we're going to add not into the skillet. We're going to add into the actual plantain pouch with the red snapper. You don't want to really cook that because it's going to steam once it bakes, once it bakes within the uh, plantain leaf, right? So we're going to uh, start to add next the uh, minced garlic, then the bell pepper, and then at the end, the uh, fire roasted jalapenos. So what we do, what we'll do is just, you know, cook the, the onion down a little bit, right? See here. Cook the onion down a little bit. You can always add it raw, all these veggies raw, into the plantain leaf with the fish. Eventually it's going to cook anyway, it's going to steam is what it's going to do. But I'd rather saute it. Gives it a little bit more flavor, brings the flavor out. You salt and pepper it and everything else. You salt and pepper the, uh, and saute the red bell peppers with the garlic and the jalapenos. And it comes out, I feel it comes out with a little bit more flavor, right? So what we want to do is, we want to keep sauteing these a little bit more. All right. What we're going to add is now is the minced garlic, then the bell pepper. Let that cook down a little bit more. Right. A little bit more salt and pepper. We're going to add that to our pouch. So our next step is to build our pouch. So stay tuned. Keep cooking. Keep stirring. I'm waiting on my refill here. The, the little chap is a little bit slow today, but we'll be a bit patient, won't we? All right. Now, keep these in the air, bottoms up, right? Cheers, mate, see you in a bit. Come back. You're gonna be very surprised to see what we've got here for you. A nice plantain leaf, 
a nice fish, and a nice marinade. All right, let's get back to it. Enough playing around games, folks. All right, so as you hear, you see here, what we've got is we've got those onions that we we've, were sauteing before, right? We've added the garlic, the minced garlic. We've added the red bell pepper, julienne red bell pepper. And we've added that diced fire roasted jalapeno. Right, so that's just about done. We've also added a little bit of salt and pepper and a squeeze of lime juice. Right, so now what you wanna do is, what we're gonna do is finish that off. That's about finished off. And we have here our setup for our plantain leaf, if you wanna take a look. So what I do is I put the, plant, the plantain leaf on top of foil so that when it bakes in the oven, it doesn't get burnt. Cause chances are, you know, the plantain leaf might get burnt. You don't want it to get burnt and then it might create a hole. Once it creates a hole, it might start leaking the juices out and that's what you don't want, right? Okay, so this is what you do. You wanna leave enough space along the edges here, you see that? So what we're gonna do is, and I'll show you in a bit what we're gonna do is, you're gonna place a little bit of olive oil or canola oil, whichever you prefer. We're gonna place our fish there, our sauce, if you want to call it a sauce, it's not really a sauce. It's pretty much the marinade on top and on the bottom as well. And what we're going to do is we're going to fold this over, right like that, right like that. Wrap it up, wrap it up nice and lovely. Like when you wrap yourself in bed with your sheets, right? Okay, and also what we're going to add is now to this, uh, to this stir fry right here, <laughs> if that's what you want to call it, we're going to add a little bit of mango juice which is like a, a mango, pu mango puree. You can buy the frozen ones. I'll show you what we have here. You can buy the frozen ones, see? You just blend it up, add a little bit of water. Doesn't even need any sugar. No sugar, no sugar added. Right. So we're gonna add a little bit of that, right? And it's gonna be like the liquid. A liquid that's gonna create with the fish and the juice is gonna come out and it's all gonna steam and that's gonna, that's gonna be your sauce. There's no need for any bloody special sauces and all this. This isn't Bobby Flay, mate. This isn't cooking on the grill with Bobby Flay when everything is jalapeno mango. No, I'm sorry. Anyway, so when we come back, we're going to show you how the <laughs> red snapper looks. Nice, wrapped up, lovely with its marinade on top. And we're going to show you how to finish wrapping it up. And we're going to finish off with the uh, red snapper in the oven. Maybe some rice on the side. Maybe some uh, veggies also as well. Anyway. Stay tuned, folks. Don't miss out on the finished product. All right. Bombs up, mate. Cheers. Love that track, mate. Hey, and welcome back to Cooking for Lost Stars of the Rich and Famous with me, your host, Robin Leach. All right, mates. We're almost finished. Check it out. So as you see, we've added that sauce. We've added that uh, mango, sorry, that mango juice, that mango puree to that uh, veggies that we had stir frying over there. So it made like ni that nice marinade, that sauce. And I want to show you what I've created here. I've created sort of like a bed, a bed of that of that marinade and uh, that mango dice that we had and some sliced lemon limes, right? So I made sort of like a bed, right? You create like a, a little bed of all that loveliness. Place the fish on top. Cover with a little bit more of that marinade, some more mango diced, right? As you can see here, that's just looking happy, very happy. Now what we want to do is, so we're going to fold over like this, like this, like this, and like so, right? We're going to pinch it at the top, as I'll show you in the next step, the next and last final step. But before we close it off, we're going to want to... Add just a splash, just a splash. This is the secret recipe, mates. All right, a splash of Modelo, or any type of beer if you like. Please don't use any domestic beer if you like, whatever, mate. But I suggest a splash of Modelo, Tecate, perhaps some Guinness, or whatever you have laying around in the house. Red Stripe RPA is fine. Excuse me. All right, so when we come back, we're gonna show you the finished product. Right? How it's nice and pinched at the top, closed off, the final step, and then into the oven you go. Right, mates, I hope you enjoyed this show. I certainly did. Lovely, as always, like we say here on the show, keep cooking, keep stirring, and keep these up in the air. Bombs up, mates. See you in a bit for the finished product. Cheers. All right, ladies and gents, this is it. The final product. Check it out. So, what we have here... 
are our little fishies, our red snappers, that we've wrapped. And as you notice, you see here, if we get a little bit more light in here, we want to make sure that these are pinched tight, closed, tightly closed on each end, right? This way, when it cooks, it's going to steam and all that flavor is going to meld together and it's going to marry and it's just going to be lovely. Lovely, mates. All right, now remember before you close those, before you pinch them off, don't forget the secret, the secret recipe, the secret ingredient for this recipe is a splash. Just a splash made of Modelo. Right, well, like I said, I hope you enjoyed this show. I certainly have. Please, mates, as always, keep cooking, keep stirring, and keep putting these up in the air. Until next time, mates. Cheers. Ciao. Prost. Skull!